Hey guys, I just wanted to do a really quick video. <clears throat> I've seen a lot of people posting about ferret harnesses, ones that they can't get out of, ones that are safe, this, that, and the other. I make my own harnesses because it's really hard to find a ferret harness that'll actually fit them right. I've got one girl that's four pounds, I've got one that's one. I mean, they're not really a one size fits all, the ones that you buy in the store. So we make our own. You're only going to need a couple of things for this. You're going to need a cord stop. This is the little thing that you have on like drawstring bags to keep it where it doesn't move. And paracord. Um, I've got about 80 inches here. What we're going to do, take your end, put it through the cord stop. Like so. Take your other end, put it through there as well. This can be a booger sometimes. I'm hoping it's not going to do it. I need something to help push it through. Okay, got both ends, we've got this little loop on one end of the cord stop, got this over here, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this through, so you've got a little short end and then a long end. I'm going to tie two knots in this. Now this is totally preference, but I do this just because we are talking about ferrets, and they like to weasel out of things, no pun intended. So, two knots, and this is just going to prevent that from slipping all the way through. And you've got a big loop, piece of string, pull that up. Now this doesn't actually go just like over their neck and you tighten it down. I'm going to show you how this goes on. One second. I have one sleepy ferret. Corson says, hello everyone. I was sleeping. Alright, now how we're going to do this. Take your loop, put it on their body behind their legs. You want this little piece on top. Take this loop and you're going to put it between their front legs and cross the. Carson, move your foot. <laughs> Boink! There we go. Cross it and put the other loop on top of their head. And then we're just going to cinch this down. This is much easier whenever you're not trying to record it, I promise. And also, when you don't have a freshly woken up ferret who is now wiggly and thinks she's going for a walk. Alright, so now, we've got crossed under the arms. Got one right here. And there's a little clip. And you want to make sure they've still got some rings. I promise they're not going to wiggle out of this. So we can still put a finger in here. We can put a finger in here. And that's it. She's very amused about all this. And you can make a little loop in the end of the string to make like a handle for the leash. But this is a very, very good way for them not to be able to get out. Because they can't slip their heads out. They're not going to slip their bodies out. They're, they're good. They're not going to go anywhere. But I just wanted to make this little video for y'all. 
because I've seen people try to explain it and I don't think everyone understands it. So being able to see it <laughs> makes more sense sometimes. But that's it. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Say bye, Carson. Bye.